Hello everyone, I'm Michael, and today I'm here to present Breach, a new 4 vs 4 multiplayer mode coming out on October 16th as a part of the For Honor Marching Fire update. This new game mode is asymmetrical. On one side, the attacking team needs to breach the castle and take down the king while the defensive team needs to stop them. In this video, I'll lead the attacking team, and I'll be joined by Jennifer, who will be on the defensive team. I'm currently in the main lane, along with my teammates. The mode has three phases. Right now, we're in the first phase, and we need to escort our battering ram to the first gate. As attackers, we'll need to protect the ram at all costs, as it is the core element of our offense. The ram will move faster when we stand next to it, but it will slow down or stop if defenders are around. We're progressing really well so far, and the ram will keep moving forward in the main lane to destroy the gates on its way to the king's court. While we're progressing, we have to be careful as we have a limited number of tickets to use to be able to respawn. If the number of respawn tickets reaches zero, we lose. So, it's important to revive teammates as often as possible to limit the use of respawn tickets. The defensive team has many tools at its disposal to stop the progression of the attacking team. We'll see more of those later in the match. For now, let's reach the main lane. I'm now close to the battering ram, and as a consequence, you can see that it has stopped moving. At the same time, my army is damaging the ram, which has its own life bar. Destroying the ram is one of the two ways the defensive team can win. first gate down, it's time to attack the second one. We cover the main lane during the opening phase, but the side lanes are also important to control the flow of the battle. You can see here that my team is currently under attack from the enemy's archers, which is slowing down our progression. In this map, there are three areas with archers along the side lane. Let's try to take control of those ramparts. To control the side lanes, we need to eliminate the soldiers that occupy that area. We now control the first area, and our archers just came in to offer us support. We now own this zone until the end of the game, and our archers are targeting our enemies. One of my teammates is going towards the other archer points, while I'm going back to the main lane to make sure the ram reaches the second gate. Things aren't looking good right now. They control the three archer points, and the ram is at the second gate. If the attacking team manages to break it down, they'll enter the king's court, where he can be engaged. Earlier in the game, I used the ballista, a weapon that is available to everyone. In addition to that, the defenders also have access to a powerful tool to stop the ram, the cauldron. When activated, it will not only deal damage to the ram, but also to all those who surround it. After a cooldown period, we will be able to use it again. We took down the second gate. It's time to enter the last phase of Breach and face their king. The king is an AI boss that fights alongside the defenders. He is extremely powerful and has a large life pool. If we manage to take him down, we win the game. the only way for the defending team to win in this phase is to bring our respawn ticket count to zero. In this phase, reviving our teammates is more important than ever. This final battle is taking place in the king's court. Obviously, we have to protect him by any means necessary. In this map, the court is surrounded by an archer point and a ballista, which are strategic areas. Controlling them gives a significant advantage against your opposing team. Their ticket count is at zero. We have to make a final push. We can finish this. The 
The king is safe and we won. Thanks everyone for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. New Breach game mode will be available for free to every owner of For Honor on October 16th, when the Marching Fire update will be released. We'll see you on the battlefield.